welcome back to my channel magnolia budgets or if you're new hello welcome i'm so glad to have you here today for today's video we'll be stuffing my cash envelopes and my sinking funds so i'm so excited y'all it's been a while it's been a while it's been like two weeks i feel like i think it has since y'all seen um at least one week it's been a week since i've posted i think it's been two though i'm not sure y'all went on vacation i'm back <laughs> and then the week before my vacation i was just trying to get everything situated so i'll get more into that in a few let's go ahead and count and see how much money we'll be stuffing today so we're going to stuff 20 40 60 80 90 100 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 51 52 53 54 55 so 155 dollars is what we'll be stuffing today it's a really good amount so yes let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing all right, so we are going to be stuffing our usual amount, 259. That has not changed. So let's go ahead and get into my cash wallet first. Y'all, I had an amazing vacation, but of course, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit throughout the week because I have to catch up on videos and I will be posting them this week, hopefully, if I can get them done. So self-care is empty and it's not going to get anything. Getting my nails done is really not a priority right now. I really need to go ahead on and try to catch up on some savings challenges. I need to also, I need to go grocery shopping and I need to get ready for Christmas. So my nails is really not a priority right now. So Fair Babies is going to get $25 because my dad did watch my dogs while I was gone. And I need to be able to pay him. I'm going to pay him 100 he didn't tell me how much to pay him, but that's what I'm going to pay him. And if he says he should get more or whatever, I don't know, then I will go ahead and do that. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 15, 20, 21. So I'm going to take the $100 out, 20, 40, 60, 81, and I'm going to take that over to him. And then we have $21 left. And so, um, 121, I'm going to make sure this money i'm going to buy dog food with this money because while i was away apparently they were eating a lot of food <laughs> all right so we do have some leftover grocery money just a couple dollars so let's see what we have we have one two three four five so i'm put that in the manifestation and we're going to go ahead and add in fifty dollars so we will be, I'm going to keep this in, of course. I did not grocery shop that week. This is like the first week of October's paycheck. So I did not buy groceries, um, but I'm going to keep it in. So I'm going to stuff another 50 for the second week of, week of October. And I will go ahead on and go and like buy a you know a good amount of things that we need for the house like paper towel maybe some laundry detergent dish detergent just some things that we need for the house so we're going to add in seven for gas just so that we can go ahead and build this envelope up in case we need some gas you always need some backup gas money but y'all so <laughs> the reason why i did not post that week is because i was trying to get ready for the vacation i had to pack my bags and my fiance bag okay like why didn't no one tell me like the besties who are in a relationship engaged married you know my seasoned couples why didn't y'all tell me that <laughs> when you're in a relationship you have to pack your bag and your man's bag too Okay, I had to pack my book. My, I had, so I did, I did some research and I was like, I, because I wanted to do a personal item and a carry-on bag because I did not want to check a bag. Our flights were early, especially coming back. And being that this was our first time flying and cruising, we did not want to, you know, have to check a bag and wait on it. It doesn't take long, but still, you know, we didn't know what was going to be happening trying to get back to the airport for our flight. And so we all took a backpack and it's like the the famous travel backpack on Amazon that everybody uses. So we packed that and then a carry-on 
luggage so a suitcase and y'all I was struggling trying to get everything into those two bags and so we had to decrease like I was like okay I don't need this I don't need this I don't need that and I really wanted to bring it you know but I said okay I'm not gonna bring it um so we had to sacrifice a lot of things and honestly I didn't miss it I did not miss it and the clothes that I brought I think I wore everything besides two outfits so one was a dress one was like a two-piece outfit and a shirt so I did really well and with my packing of my clothes and my fiance I think he had I think he wore all of his clothes literally besides oh I did not wear all of my swimwear he did not wear all of his swimwear either so we definitely have a good amount of swimwear for the next vacation if we want to take pictures in something new because we had about I know I had at least maybe six or seven eight different bathing suits and I was wearing different ones every time but I only wore I think three swimwears so y'all y'all should have told me that because I did not know I did not know I'm like I was getting irritated and frustrated because I was trying to make everything fit and you know men's clothes is bigger than women's clothes I don't need this anymore so that's trash so all right moving on I'll tell y'all more about the vacation in a few um so this is how much money I came back with so my goal was 200 1 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 80 300 5 10 11 12 13 14 so 314 dollars is what I came back with and my goal was 200 so I did really well y'all know I went with I think 710 dollars I did not spend a lot of money um I think total like on the cruise ship like while I was there I spent f f close to 450 dollars um and that's not including excursions or nothing that was just like from my sign and sell card on the cruise that's what I spent um so it was really nice I did not this the cruising is expensive I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all now so we're gonna add 10 y'all I'm hungry so I'm sorry if y'all hear my stomach growl we're gonna go ahead and take the money from vacation number two and move it to number one because as of right now my next vacation is going to be my bachelorette um and that's going to be sometime next year so we're going to go ahead and combine i think it's about 201 dollars or so we're going to go ahead and combine that with this and this will be the start of my next vacation so 100 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 80 90 95 500 one two three four and five so five hundred and five that's why I always like to kind of sort of go ahead on and get a head start when I know that there's another vacation coming up or even before I know because I'm already doing another vacation shaving challenge already and I don't have one planned but we loved cruising so much that we we're thinking about going ahead on and booking another cruise and y'all we were thinking about going to Paris you know for our honeymoon but I think we might be going on another cruise we loved it just that much I really want to go to Paris I want to get there eventually I don't know when but I'm going to try to budget it out and see like for the plane flight things to do hotel um just ubers if we got to get an uber or a taxi or something so I need to see exactly how much it's going to be and if my fiance is going to have his part by the time it's time to go because by the end of this year i'm going to have my money because my 100 envelope box is what's going to get me to my honeymoon so if he doesn't have his then that might not be the kind of vacation we need to go on we may have to go to a, do a cruise or go to disney or somewhere like that which is fine um, because I have plenty of time, hopefully, God willing, to go to Paris. So, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We have $40 in car maintenance. I think I have an appointment this week, y'all. My check engine light came back on. So, I'm definitely going to make it to this appointment. 
So hopefully we can go ahead and get that figured out. I'm just going to pull from my savings because that little $40 is not going to do anything for me. <laughs> so vacation got 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. I'm really thinking about just telling my fiance, like, let's save up, like maybe, you know, some money, you know, every couple of months, like say like every two months, two to three months, let's just go out and go stay off manifestation is going to get five and just go stay at like a hotel and do something new so let's go like out of state let's do something and you know use our time wisely and you know use some of our money we work hard for our money and i do want to save and pay off some of my debt but i also want to live a little so i need to learn how to balance both of them 20 40 60 80 85 90 95 96 97 98 99 so we have 99 in month ahead. We're finally adding to month ahead again. It really feels good to be back stuffing my envelopes, y'all. And y'all know how it is when it comes back. When you come back off of vacation, you have so much to do. You have to unpack, wash clothes. You have to go grocery shopping. You have to cook for the week. We got to cash stuff. We have to, we have so much to do. I have orders to do, by the way. Y'all, I have I did not get all the orders done. So it's three orders that I have to get out and I feel so bad because they've been waiting on me for over two weeks now. So I'm definitely gonna add something extra to their package. I'm so thankful and grateful for y'all. Y'all are so patient with me and y'all are so supportive. Don't forget that we are um gonna be having a sale today. Um it opens the website opens up today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully, check the website. Everything in the shop is going to be on sale. So make sure y'all go and check it out. Um, so that's just a little thank you for me that I like to do every year. Plus, I like to do something for the month of October for my birthday. So I feel like when it's my birthday, it's y'all's birthday and we all get to celebrate. So there's going to be some deep discounts and a lot of things. So we could just clear out the inventory and do something new for the new year. So, but yes, yeah, so I'm so thankful and grateful. If you're one of the ones who are waiting on an order for me, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about you. I am definitely going to get y'all orders out and you will have something extra in your package. So wedding is going to get five. So 20, 25, 30. So yes, y'all. So that was like the beginning. Y'all, when I'm on, like I said, I went on my first plane flight. It was so nerve wracking. Like I'm over here like squeezing my, my uh fiance, my mom's hand. I'm making faces. Y'all, landing was the worst part because my ears were literally on fire. Like I felt like my ears were going to bleed and explode. So water bill is going to get 28. That was the only thing I did not like. So 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's the last thing we have to stuff. So let's go ahead and put that in. So that was the only thing that it was nerve wracking. And the one thing that I hated the most was the landing. I did not have any gum to chew. I had gum to chew going up into the air, but I didn't have any for the landing so that was just i did not like it but y'all let me tell you about these little duckies so cruising this is the last thing i'm gonna tell y'all and then i'll tell y'all more about my vacation and tomorrow and tomorrow's video um but y'all i something new i learned was before we went i learned that they do like a duck hunt type of thing on the cruise on the carnival cruise ships so people will bring ducks some a lot of times they will leave a tag on it saying like the family the ship the date um that it was hidden that they they that they went on to their cruise and they hid the duck and so y'all first so this is a tag so this is an example of the tag this is the back of it i'm not going to show the people's information on the back um but it just says you found a duck um, and to you can hide it or keep it tells you were not to hide them um, and then take a photo you know when you found it find it so this is what my fiance found so he found this in the elevator it was hidden and I was I was jealous I was jealous because I hadn't found a duck the whole time and this was the I think it was the day 
I think it was the last day before the cruise or either two days before. And so first my sister found one, my mom found one, and then my fiance found one. So I was a little jealous. And so I just like, I'm like, all right, whatever. Maybe I'll come across one. And so I happened to be walking down the hallway, y'all. And in like the little railing, this was sitting there. I was so happy, y'all. I was so happy I found me a duck. So of course I kept it. I'm not going to hide this one, but I am going to bring ducks the next trip. And I'm going to hide them with my tag and everything. I'm going to be well prepared. Um, and if I find any, I will make sure to either keep or rehide them. We'll see. It depends on how many I find. Like, if I find 10 ducks, of course, I'm only going to keep one and hide the rest. Um, but that was so much fun. So, if you decide to go on a cruise, definitely look out for the ducks. And and the craziest thing is, is I mean, we were, like I said, it was a seven-day cruise. Um, and I hadn't seen a duck the whole time until the 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 second to last day or the day before we were leaving so they hide tons of them some people go and they will hunt they will go from floor to floor trying to look for ducks but you definitely have to look because they're hidden and i'm telling you i did not see any and i wasn't really looking so but next time i'm definitely going to look here and there and see but that was so exciting when i found it and so I cannot wait for us to go on our next cruise. Um, but I'm going to tell y'all more about the different things that we've done, excursions, just all the things um, in an upcoming video. But you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me and coming back time and time again. I'm so thankful and grateful for you all and for your support. But like I said, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends up on my channel. So come over here, budget with us, chat with us a little bit. Go check out my websites, you guys. You can check out my Etsy shop and magnoliabudgets.com. Um, my website, the Etsy shop is linked down below. Everything is on sale today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's already on sale. By the time y'all see this video, if I can get everything set up. So definitely go check it out. You can get some really amazing things at a, a great price. But you guys, that's it for today's video. I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Bye.